Das ist alles wasserfest, ne? Nee, überhaupt so, nicht. Gar nichts wasserfest. Nee, aber. Ist es denn dicht? Auch nicht. Auch nicht. <lacht> <lacht> You see all these single speed bikes here in Berlin and it's following, I guess, a, a very similar concept. It's just like you barely find a fixie twice. You know, all those bikes that you see here in Mauer Park where people have, you know, did their own thing, it's just really nice to see. You know, special handlebar cut from something else and everybody does this little design project. Uh, I like that. It's, it reminds me a little bit on my early moped days. You know, there were Kreidler mopeds at the time where you could exchange parts on the engine so easily to make it a faster moped. 911 here and there feels the same to me because the car was built in its carrosserie. So, uh, so simple, but also so steadily in a, in a very similar way that you are able to exchange parts and combine it to your personal take on the car. The car is a, is a 1981 SC body. Uh, stripped down completely and then uh, all the panels that are loose on that body which is a zinc coated body already they were replaced by Kevlar panels meaning the the engine lid the bumper the door the front fender the bonnet and the front bumper as well and uh, together with a completely stripped out interior uh, and the uh, plastic windows um, it made the car extremely light. It is down to now uh, 820 kilogram. It has no heater also. The whole engine bay is uh, cleaned out. Um, all added to the overall concept of an interesting power to weight ratio of the car. A little bit sign of our time no? to, that you start to feel relieved if you take away things. And, start to concentrate on the essential things in, in life and also on your product. Okay, this is really a minor detail about, about this car, but um, when it came to everybody who has tried to paint a Fuchs wheel by hand, uh, had to at some point tape it up and tape up that area where, you know, the, the contrast is between the silver and the black. And if you ever try to do that yourself, uh, it's really, for me, it was really difficult to get my head around how I do that myself, in a way, and uh, try to find all kinds of tricks how to make that happen. And, and in the end, uh, we, I put it in water with some soap in it to take away the Kapillarkräfte, you know, and, and let that water level come up. And it made me a perfect mark all the way around and gave me a marking where I could finally tape up that wheel. And since then, I look at Fuchs wheels completely different, and I see which ones are done very well and which ones are done not so well and it was just a, a little insight into just doing things yourself on your own personal 9-11 project and failing a couple of times and then having a chance to get it right. When you're used to, to work on a Bugatti product, this is such a different world and such a different approach to car design and, uh, and pioneering technique in general. And, such a necessity to concentrate on, on high-tech performance also and those high-tech values and also extreme refinement on materials it almost feels like a relief from time to time to do exactly the opposite and come back to super simplistic uh, uh, approaches that maybe also don't cost the world <laughs>